what's up? It's McNeil from uh, Louisa Automotive. Uh, it's like every time I start the video, same way. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe I need a new intro. But anyway, if you're new to this channel and you uh, don't know who this guy is, uh, and you want to subscribe to hear what he got to say, we appreciate it. And if you're a returning viewer and you want to hit the thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below, we do appreciate it. Okay. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to be telling you dealers. Uh, how you can save money on your auto repairs okay so um, I don't know if it's obvious for you or not but if you're a new dealer it's very good uh, to make a relationship with an auto repair shop so you uh, if your dealership your new dealership doesn't have an auto repair uh, department you don't have a, a, a mechanic shop because when I initially started I didn't have an auto repair shop uh, you want to make a relationship with uh, maybe a couple of auto repair shops and then you can decide which is better and uh, stick with that one, be loyal with that one, okay? Um, there are lots of different types of auto repair shops, so you're going to have to have a few of them in your Rolodex. In, in other words, there are a couple of guys who specialize in electrical issues on your car. That's not going to be your typical auto repair shop. Uh, any kind of electrical issues, they'll be able to help you out. You need one of those guys in your uh, uh, shop, uh, your, your list of shops, basically. Uh, you're also gonna need a, some sort of a transmission uh, expert who can rebuild transmissions and that kind of stuff. Um, and obviously, the most important valuable one you'll have is your general mechanic who's gonna do your safeties for you, your brakes, your oil changes, and that kind of stuff. Now, that guy, you want him to be your best friend. You need to be able to negotiate a uh, dealer's basically hourly rate. By now, if you follow our channel for a minute, you know that a lot of auto repair shops, pretty much all repair shops, work on an hourly base. So if a shop rate is about 80 to 100 bucks an hour, uh, they may offer you repairs as a dealer uh, for 60 to 70 bucks an hour if you are, you know, giving them lots of work, okay? Uh, because believe it or not, of course, even the shops have downtimes. So why I say you gotta be good friends with that auto repair guys because you guys gotta work together. Uh, you know he's giving you a deal on the repairs, so you can't pressure him to finish the cars right away. He'll be doing those repairs for you in between his slow times. Now, obviously, there might be one or two cars you might need right away, and with communication, let him know like this car's already sold, and I need this ASAP, and I'm sure he will squeeze it in for you, okay? So, the key here is uh, get a shop that you trust, build a relationship with a shop, be loyal with them, and they will offer you a cheaper hourly rate because uh, one of your biggest expenses as a new dealer, other than your rent and employees, if you're more than a one-man show, um, you're gonna be spending a lot of money in auto repairs, okay? A customer complaints, all that kind of stuff. A customer complaint just for a shop to pick it up and look at that car for you. If you don't have a relationship with them, that's gonna cost you money, okay? So you really need to have a relationship with auto repair shop okay that's enough about the auto repair shop again like i said a list is going to save you money on the hourly rate a list is going to um uh get you in and out of a shop quickly without making an appointment it's really important to have that it, for your business to be successful you need to have that relationship okay the second thing is you need to for your parts um you need to make a relationship with your local uh, parts people now i know yeah, Napa and the bigger names are, are popular and if you remember the used car association they may offer you uh, cheaper rates with Napa and that kind of stuff like 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 on your parts and your uh, whatever like cheaper parts uh, but there are no names or smaller names uh, part suppliers in your community uh, based on where wherever your shops at uh, they may offer you even cheaper prices if you could open up an account with them right so you buy your own parts and then you let the shop just deal with the labor for you you will save money that way so make relationship with your parts people now obviously you're going to need to make relationships with your oem people as well meaning mercedes bmw honda toyota depends on the type of dealership you have you should know if you mainly sell japanese cars american cars uh you get an automatic uh anywhere from 10 to 25 percent the highest i've got is 30 percent uh, because over the years, and I didn't get that right away, um, over years of dealing with that one specific Ford dealer, I got up to 30% on my parts. Um, 
So same thing, like when, as soon as you give that dealer uh, proof that you have a licensed business, a licensed uh, shop, your business cards, they can pull you up on Google, they know you're not full of shit and you're just not saying that you have a shop to get a discount. Uh, they want your business. They want you to be ordering parts on them. So as long as you can prove that to any Honda, Toyota dealership, any one of the dealerships, they'll put you in the system and they will give you, like I said, a minimum of, most of them starts at about 10. I've never seen anybody give less than 10, right? So 10, 15% right away. And then according to, as you keep ordering, according to the volume that you have, they'll eventually speak to the manager and give you a bigger and bigger discount. And they also deliver those parts to you, okay? Now, uh, this is a very, very important tip, like I was saying, for your new dealers, because you'll be surprised how much money you spend in parts and how much money you spend in your repairs. So again, you need to have a relationship with an auto repair shop, local part supplier, and also your OEM dealers uh, supplier. You need to have a relationship with them as well, okay? Hopefully this saves you money. Uh, if you learn anything from this and you want to subscribe, like, share, we appreciate your feedback and uh, don't forget to leave your thoughts below. Stay blessed.